So here's a rundown on some of our national and international stories for Wednesday, May 31st, 2017. The Russia inquiry from the House and Senate has now expanded to Trump lawyer Michael Cohen. He has become yet the latest member of the Trump team to refuse to cooperate with the investigation. He said that it was impossible to comply. Sean Spicer, his first day back in front of the White House briefing corps, He basically was facing a flurry of questions from reporters over the so-called fake news reports. Uh, Part of it is that they're attacking anybody who uses anonymous sources as fake news, but then the White House went around and and quoted an anonymous source themselves, while Sean Spicer just simply abruptly left the White House briefing, turned around and left. Also, Mike Dubke, the White House communications director with Times for Alaska, has quit, apparently on good terms, but it's all part of a shakeup in the White House communications corps. Uh, President Trump himself went to Twitter and defended his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, and claiming that it was the Russians, not his son-in-law, who asked for the secret back channels, which, of course, asked some more questions about, well, didn't, weren't you denying that such channels existed in the first place? President Putin, from the Russian side of things, is calling for partnership instead of inventing mythical Russian threats. And in Germany, police there have foiled what they're calling an asylum seeker suicide attack. A 17-year-old kid picked up for uh, basically saying goodbye to his family. He was going out to join the jihadis. Well, they, they picked him up uh, basically for that. They haven't confirmed that he actually had any firm plans for an attack. And nor have they confirmed that he is from Syria. They're now suggesting he might have falsely said that he was from Syria. The White House has drafted new rules to roll back the contraception mandate that was part of Obamacare health coverage issue, and the French Open has banned Maxime Amou because he kissed a female interviewer, not once, not twice, three times. In fact, at one point, the reporter had to peel his hand off her chest, and the sporting group said that they don't condone such behavior, and they've banned him from the rest of the French Open. The cop who shot Tamir Rice dead, remember he was the 12-year-old who had a BB gun, uh, he's now been fired. But not for the shooting. He was fired for lying on his job application. There's, of course, a number of angry protests. A blast, actually two blasts, have struck Baghdad just days into Ramadan. At least 27 dead, scores more injured. Manuel Noriega, the former military ruler of Panama, has died at age 83. He's been in a medically induced coma since March when he had uh, a brain issue. Looking at coverage of a general election 2017 in the UK, Jeremy Corbyn appeared on the one show after a very disastrous day. He apparently couldn't answer simple questions about how much his health care or his daycare plan would cost. And he insulted women voters by saying that uh, child care is the number one concern for women. Putin, also back in front of the news cameras, is saying that any charge that Assad used chemical weapons in Syria is a provocation. There's no proof that he did it whatsoever. In Kentucky, a couple of newspapers uh, under attack, quite literally, one case, shots fired and knocking out several of the windows, and in another case, a bomb threat. This is this anti-media climate continues to grow across the United States. That zoo that had the di- tiger death on Monday apparently was warned about their con- containment issues, everything from the barriers that they use to keep the animals apart to the... Uh, communications procedures, how they would handle an escape. But two years ago, they were criticized for that. Actually, more than that, I think uh, back to 2013, so four years ago. Also, the Prime Minister of Serbia has resigned, and Three Mile Island is going to be closing some 40 years after the infamous accident. Ariana Grande is going to be back in Manchester this Sunday, along with Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, and Coldplay, is a benefit concert for the victims of the Manchester attack that happened during her show a little over a week ago. The United Nations has warned of mass displacement in the war-torn Central African Republic. Over 40,000 people that have been moved out of their homes. Olivia Newton-John revealed that she has breast cancer again. However, she hopes to be back on stage by the end of this year. Lebanon has called for Wonder Woman, the new movie, to be banned simply because Gal Gadot is an Israeli. Also, there's a new sculpture that made its way to New York, you know, the Charging Bull that was installed back in the 1980s, and then Fear the Skrull that was put up uh, right across from Charging Bull, and that that whole controversy that went with that. Now, somebody 
put up Pissing Pug, uh, a little urinating dog there next to uh, Fearless Girl. And big controversy over that. People calling the artist that put up Pissing Pug a misogynist. The artist who created the Charging Bull saying, hey, who gave you the right to put up Fearless Girl? All of this big, big row, as the Brits like to put it. And uh, lastly, there's a story in Pravda about some scientists in Britain who have discovered a link between fasting and the stimulation of intellectual abilities. And that'll be my subject of commentary today at RadioFreeSpeech.com. Tell all your friends.